did you ever think that you would be relevant for this long? I guess he's talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Making these videos has not only made me a better storyteller, I think it's actually made me a better person. We're really excited about bringing Brief But Spectacular to the CBC. Hi. I should probably wait for the question. The first episode that we're showing is with Kim Fook, best known as the Napalm Girl. Everybody knows that photo, but they don't know the story of the life that she's lived. What came up in that interview was that forgiveness set her free. I realized myself, Kim, you pray for your enemies. It's mean you love. People always ask how we choose subjects for the show. In the beginning, I think we felt a lot of pressure to book high profile guests, but what we've learned over making the show for the past five years is how excited people are to see people that they don't know. We did an interview with 91 year old Flossie Lewis. Will this go viral? She talked about what it felt like to grow old. This is the absolute sh that's all I can say. Seven million people saw it in two weeks and it really informed how we wanted to curate the show. We've covered a variety of topics. We've looked at sexual assault, we've looked at misuse of prisons, immigration, mental illness. Our goal has always stayed the same. We are inviting the viewer to walk in somebody else's shoes. What you don't see on Brief But Spectacular is the warmth and sensitivity of the team that shoots the show. I think the guest picks up on that warmth. It allows them to talk about things that are difficult to talk about, whether it's grief or trauma they've experienced, or a loved one that they're talking about that we're pushing them to articulate their feelings on. People actually want to talk about the things that are difficult. They often just don't have a space to do it. So I'm really proud that our show has provided a platform and a space for people to share things I think they want to say and that people want to hear. I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, raised in Toronto. We filmed my grandfather. He suffers from Alzheimer's and dementia. I interviewed him about what it feels like to forget. You titled this series. You came up with the name. Do you know that? I remember that. The story that I tell is that I went to synagogue and left. That's correct. Snuck out, came back in, and what did you say? I said you'd made a brief but spectacular appearance. I feel luckier to have it every year that passes. My name is Steve Goldblum, and this is my brief but spectacular take on Brief But Spectacular.